Guidelines for mothers bathing newborn little ones The presence of the little one certainly makes life more meaningful. Unfortunately there are still things about caring for your little one that new mothers are not used to doing, one of which is how to bathe your little one. Bathing your little one is a crucial moment considering that at the age of 0 to 3 months, your little one's skin is still prone to irritation and flaking, so special treatment is needed. Not infrequently, some mothers deliberately do not bathe their little ones for several days for reasons that it is not yet time. Even though in the opinion of the doctors, mothers have been able to bathe their little ones since they were brought home from the hospital. Mothers are also often confused about the right temperature for their little one. The recommended water temperature is lukewarm, aka not too hot and not too cold. Usually, the temperature that is considered safe is around 37 to 38 degrees Celsius. If you don't have a thermometer, use your elbow rather than your hand to measure. One of the things that must be considered in bathing your little one is to prevent your little one from swallowing bath water. If that happens, your little one will likely experience gastroenteritis or diarrhea considering they are susceptible to bacteria and viruses. To prevent this, slowly dip your little one into the water bath. Then, ideally how many times can your little one take a bath? For newborns, bathing two to three times a week is sufficient. You can also bathe your little one every day, especially if your baby always enjoys these moments. But you also have to pay attention to the quality of the water used. If the water quality is not very good, then bathing your little one too often will not be good for their skin. Bathing your little one who has special conditions. Some of the conditions below often make mother feel worried when she has to bathe her little one. The umbilical cord has not fallen off yet. A safe way to bathe your little one who hasn't lost the umbilical cord is to use a sponge or small towel washed in warm water. Gently rub it all over your little one's body evenly. Pay extra attention to the folds under your arms, around your neck, behind your ears, and your pubic area. Remember, the umbilical cord must be kept dry and sterile. Just clean it with and dry it with a soft towel or fan it with a piece of paper. Position your little one's diaper so it doesn't break the umbilical cord. Let the umbilical cord fall on its own. Usually this process takes about one to three weeks. There are several signs of infection in the umbilical cord that mother should pay serious attention to. These signs are redness, swelling, your little one crying when the umbilical cord is pressed, an unusual smell, pus, and followed by a fever. If this happens, then your child should be taken to the doctor. The head is still soft. Another condition that often makes mother afraid to bathe your little one is when your little one's head is still soft. In fact, how to bathe your little one with this condition is not complicated. Just wipe it slowly with a specially formulated shampoo with soap. If your little one already has hair, then your little one's shampoo can be used. Chicken pox. Even though you have chicken pox, your little one still has to be bathed to keep his body clean so that your little one feels comfortable. How to bathe your little one who has chicken pox must also be done carefully. The purpose of this precaution is to prevent the chicken pox from breaking out. This should be done because chicken pox that breaks out will usually leave scars on your little one. Flu and fever. Your little one who has a cold can still be bathed in water that is not too cold. In your little one who has a fever of up to 40 degrees Celsius, you can bathe it by wiping it with a sponge soaked in warm water. 
A warm bath can also be done because the warm temperature of the water might reduce the fever. Afraid to take a shower. It's common for your little one to be afraid of being bathed, although this can't be explained yet. This fear will end with age. To overcome this, mother can try bathing with her little one. Another way is to bring toys with you while bathing, changing tubs, massaging your little one while bathing, and changing the bath ritual to make it fun. Too early or too late. Not a few mothers who think bathing in the morning or evening can invite asthma and pneumonia. In fact, these things are not related to one another. The cause of pneumonia itself is an infection caused by microorganisms such as bacteria, viruses and fungi. Meanwhile, asthma is caused by an excessive immune reaction to various irritants. Experts suspect that there is a strong link between allergies and asthma. Dry skin. Dry skin that occurs in your little one is usually caused by taking too long a bath. Soaps that contain antiseptics should also be avoided. A pediatrician recommends shortening bath time and using unscented soap to keep your little one's skin moisturized. Can I use baby care products? Apart from understanding how to bathe your little one properly, the use of your little one's care products can also determine his health. It is okay to give your little one care products as long as they are not excessive in the amount given. Baby care products generally include soap, shampoo, baby oil, and powder. To ensure the safety of these products, be sure to read product labels carefully. Choose products that are safe for your little one's skin and avoid those that cause allergies. In addition, try to use products that are free of parabens and phthalates because these compounds can harm your little one. If your little one has sensitive skin, you should consult the use of the product with a pediatrician.